Good morning, YouTube. Dave in Kentucky back for another shave, highlighting another razor. Hope you're having a good day today. It is early on a Sunday morning. <clears throat> for the shave today, we are using La Fougere Parfait, uh, Holy Cow, uh, which is a dupe on Brut. We have the splash to go with it. And we have the cologne to go with it. About a gallon. The big boy I'll never get through. <clears throat> so already put some on my star bone handle. Really nice bone handle. Uh, has some cracks in it that have been stabilized. And it has a, <clears throat> I think a body, body, um, badger knot in it. Let's go ahead. Get the little bit of proto lather I have here on the puck. And we'll set that aside. And get the lather in here. So the razor I'm using today is from 1913. The patent, the patent for it was applied for in 1913. It was granted in 1914. The one I have says patent applied for <clears throat> with no date. And that's why I dated it 1913. In that general area, since it doesn't have the patent was obtained in 1914. It's when Camp Brothers was moving from their wedge style blades to what they call their ribbed back blade. And we're pushing the use of those, especially as they acquired <coughs> American Safety Razor acquired Camp and Gem eventually and pushed them. And that was the Crew Steel Blade. So here's the case, the set that I have. And it has a ton of, of the blades in, in these cases, the Crew Steel Blades. Pretty sure I have a uh, video up if you want to go back and look at the old ones of using using or trying to use, attempting to use one of those. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it was tuggy and, and didn't last. I'm missing the stropping mechanism that goes with this, but other than that, it's a very nice uh, specimen. Uh, it says uh, use only star crew steel blades on it. it. Has the little thing on the back here that holds it, the guides, and it does have a couple blade stops. So we're going to load a modern gem blade into it. Slide it in there. Hold that in place. Pull this up. And it will hold it in place there. On the back, uh, Camp Brothers New York USA patent applied for. And a little bit of scroll work on it. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to shaving here. So it is a Sunday morning and a lather catcher day. Not the official lather catcher day, it would be the first Sunday of each month on Toast3, that's T-O-S-T 3.com. T-O-S-T and the number three. So come join us there for all things single edge. Other than that, I'm over on DFS.
talk about all kinds of razors <clears throat> over on Toast 3. It's just single edges. video I did a few days ago or a week ago with my uh, open comb um, 1912 has somehow disappeared. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> I was probably deleting something and hit something by accident that got rid of it. So my apologies. We'll use that in a, again someday, I guess. <clears throat> I don't really want to repeat ones that I'm using right now, even though some that I'm using were used months and months ago. I appreciate all the new subscribers that I've gotten. Um, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this and you want to consider doing that, I appreciate it. I'm not really worried about the <clears throat> number of subscribers. Just kind of documenting my shaves. That's the goal, purpose. I know when I get pass around razors, I have a ton more views. So there's a lot more interest in the modern razors that are going around right now. But that's not the purpose of, uh, of why I do my videos. So I don't expect to... Uh, Translate to a ton of subscribers. Because the razors I use don't follow the modern trend. And that's okay. For those that are here, thank you very much. Appreciate it. As you expect, this gives a nice, smooth shave. As <clears throat> really all of these old single edge razors will do. against the green pass.
Caesar in Waits Compendium is described as a clamshell with no hinge because it doesn't have a hinge to open it. And it does hold some lather in there. few spots around my mouth here, a couple little dots, and they usually will show up when I hit the witch hazel humphreys here, but they die down to nothing, short order, and we are going to hit it with the a splash, Gotta hold that thing down. The metal badge likes to jump up when you splash it. No restrictor on this, so you gotta watch. But we will be in brute Fabergé glory today. there anyway so let's go ahead and cap that let me clean the brush up here show you this pretty star brush you a really nice knot in it this one uh, I did not redo it was redone by another gentleman star brush nice knot in it uh, sterilized made in USA set in rubber typical thing but anyway we'll set that there Dave in Kentucky there you have it that's the go ahead and pull that out and we'll clean that blade but <laughs> let's rinse it off star use only star crew steel blades anyway Dave in Kentucky. Be safe, be kind out there, and we'll see you on the pages.